right? And you become friends, right? Because you want to trust each other before you do stuff, right? At least that's right. what we did, right? Somebody, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Somebody used meetup.com to set up a Toronto True Seekers meetup. And we met every Saturday for shawarmas at Bloor and Spadina in Toronto. Shawarmas, right. falafels, just hanging nice. out, talking red pill stuff, whatever, whatever, right? Yeah. Then we felt like acting. We couldn't just keep talking about this stuff. So we set up a meet and greet table and we had posters and flyers and DVDs. We were right at Dundas Square, the very center of downtown Toronto, Canada, right outside the Eaton Center. Thousands of people around. We were just saying hi to people or giving them stuff to go or talking to people, whatever, just getting along great with each other. No yelling, no crazy people, no nothing, no frustrations. Yeah. And then some of us guys loaded up our backpacks with 50 pounds worth of posters and flyers and we hit the streets, we hit buildings, we start at the top, you take odds, I take even, see at the, see at the bottom in 20 minutes, and we did all that stuff. Nice. And so um, you can do the same thing in Hamilton, people can do the same thing in cities and towns across Canada. Sure. If as patriots you get together, 5, 10, 15 of you, you're cool with each other, you know you're cool with each other, then you get out and be cool with your neighbors. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. There like you it. go. Cool, brother. <laughs> awesome. Sorry, your name again? Anthony. Anthony, BK. 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 Yep. All right. Nice to meet you, brother. Yeah. Consider it. And if you have any questions, you can always shoot me an email and get in touch. Sounds good. And man. Uh, yeah, man. And otherwise, at the Great Canadian House Party, I'm just making the rounds and just proving the point that these are proud, polite, patriotic people for the most part who can respect each other and communicate well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is not like a, a protest, angry, looting, or whatever. It's yeah, the opposite. Yeah, it's totally. Right? And compared to the mess on the streets, because I filmed walking here for 20 minutes from uh, near Young and College, we're doing much better than most people, and we can help them do better. Yeah. Yeah. So, how are you doing? There you go, Mr. Anthony. You should uh, you should mix and mingle with some of these folks yeah, if you feel like do, it. Yeah. yeah, man. We'll catch up. Cheers. Right. Yep. How you doing? Mm -hmm. How you doing? Mm -hmm. So again, you just politely ignore it. When they stop, have self-respect for the next time you hang out with the next person. And that's it. Mm -hmm. So how you doing? Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. I just see a couple of great people that wouldn't mind, hi honey, that wouldn't mind holding up the banner behind us, sure. Yep, perfect, we got two, that was perfect. Hey yo, it's Canadian Manpower right there. Mm -hmm. Canadian Manpower Incorporated, helping out Ms. Kelly. Wonderful. everybody doing? Whoa. Ow. This is such a wonderful turnout. It's another Saturday full of beautiful, beautiful Canadians. Everybody here ready to fight together for our freedom. I'd like to call Vlad, Vlad Sobolev. Could you please come up to this microphone? He'll be right here. <laughs> I heard you, Chuck, Chuck. Let me just fix it. So how many people brought their kids today? Ow! So I'd like to welcome everybody to the celebration of life. Of course, we're here. We represent the Back to Work Initiative and the Hugs Over Mask, Fearless Ontario. And we are also working in unison with so many other organizations. And I'd love to give credit to the line over there. So, and I'd love to give credit to every other organization that is gathered here to come together to fight for our freedom. So right now, I would like this opportunity to introduce the leading voice on this initiative, Vlad, if you'll come up here and say a few words, that we'd really appreciate it. Great, thanks. Round of applause for Vlad. All right, how's everybody doing? Justice. Huh? Yeah! All right. So, thank you for everybody for coming. This is our seventh week, seventh Saturday in a row. Let's hear it for that. 
So seventh Saturday, we have hundreds and hundreds of people coming together. Yes or yes? Yes! yes. Yeah. This is thing I want you to do for today. When I say yes or yes, everyone says yes. Yes? Yes! Okay, got it. So this is our seventh Saturday in a row. Hundreds and hundreds of people coming together. So do we have a pandemic or what? No! No! no. We're gonna learn that one too. I know, right? <laughs> so I'm sure everyone's seen the news with thousands and thousands of people marching the streets around the world. Yes or yes? Yes! yes. So the, the, the pandemic is over. Yes or yes? Yes! Got it. So the few things I want to discuss today. There's a lot of news coming out which is very, very exciting. And this is what I shared even uh, last week and I'm gonna bring it up again. And I want to really acknowledge, first of all, everyone coming here today. Please give yourself a round of applause, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Everyone here today is showing a true leadership in a time when that's so required. The leadership is important. <laughs> Lamont is getting the crowd, I love it. Thank you, Lamont. Give it up for Lamont. So we have so many people coming together. Everybody's volunteering their time. Please understand, everyone has family, everyone has kids. Whoever still have some job going on, that's great. But everybody's coming here together for one cause, to end the lockdown, to get our normal life back, and end all this BS. Yes or yes? Yes! All right. So the good news are coming out. Like I mentioned last week, uh, the, the leader of the Vaccine Shares of Canada actually said the whole movement tripled in the last, within the last corona time right now, which is, let's applaud for that. Yeah. 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 Kill Gates, I'm gonna call him Kill Gates, is actually scared now because he's actually had to uh, move the, uh, the trial of the vaccines from England to Brazil because the, the, the virus is disappearing. They can't even test the, uh, the effectiveness of vaccines anymore, which is a joke, right? Uh, unfortunately for Brazilian people, they have to fight the fight right now, not to be uh, uh, guinea pigs for kill baits, right? Yes or yes? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, so the news are coming out from Germany, the news are coming out from actually uh, United States, there was one article I shared yesterday, the virus is really going down. And there was a, a, a statistician in, um, in Israel actually calculated this two months ago. He said specifically that this virus, doesn't matter where it is, has one peak, it peaks at six weeks and it goes down after eight weeks. And this is exactly what we see. It doesn't matter how many new tests we're trying to push on people, the infection rate is under 2%. Again, when you test over 20,000 people and you have less than 400 people with actual cases, that means the infection rate less than 2%, right? Did we get that? Yes, yes or yes? Yes. yes? yes! And then as we all learned, the, uh, the survival rate from this virus, so out of even the people that have this virus, the survival rate is 99.8%. Let's all say it again. 99.8% survival rate. Yes or yes? Yes! yes. I love it. Now, of course, we all have seen the hypocrisy of our government in the last few days, where they talk down on us here fighting for the freedoms for Canadians and for the whole world. And then at the same time now, they're saying they're not going to ticket it, people uh, protesting the uh, atrocities that are happening with police force, which is a vital course for sure. But I'm sorry, if you're going to forbid people coming together in playgrounds, in funerals, in birthday parties, but you have no problem coming together and as a leader of, of countries and places, you're going to have hundreds and hundreds of people surrounding you, no social distancing, as we know JT did yesterday. I call him G, uh, Dictator JT, hashtag Dictator JT, let's get that going. Yeah. Hashtag Dictator JT must go. So let me get this straight. This virus is so serious, you're gonna suspend the democracy in this country, where you're not allowed 338 people to come together, but you have no problem, hundreds and hundreds of people surrounding you at the protest. Can we see how fake this is all is? This is why, this is why the hashtag scamdemic has to be really created and spread. I've been putting hashtag scamdemic for the last month plus now. Not because the virus is not real, not because the people are not dying from this virus. Unfortunately, there's definitely people dying from it. It's the same risk population like with a regular flu. Yes or yes? Yes! yes. And at the same time, we didn't do any of these measures for regular flu. So if we're not doing uh, any of these measures for regular flu, we're definitely not doing for this virus. Yes or yes? Yes! yes. Exactly. So a few things also I want to bring up. Uh, again, the Hugs of a Mask is the initiative is not just about the mask. For me, Hugs of a Mask encompasses the whole 
BS that they're trying to put on us, the new norm that's been talking for the last three months. This is what hugs of the mask encompasses. We're not going to accept it. We will reject the new normal. We're not going to allow our children to be subjected to the concentration camps that they're already creating. We have people from Quebec that unfortunately already were subjected to these concentration camps. The, ch the teachers in the schools are so tired trying to manage all these BS regulations on children. The children are suffering psychological and phys physiological damages for being subjected to constant sanitation, uh, sanitizers being used, you know, washing their hands all the time, not being able to play with your kids. Like, please understand, how is that even allowed to, uh, from a child abuse standpoint? And they actually want to study now the effectiveness of social distances with kids. Let me help you save some money. Oh Do not study social distances. It's all fucking BS. Yeah, yeah. Divide and conquer garbage. So, again, please understand, when I'm at public like this with this shirt on, a transit and everything, and I'm giving out the flyers, and we have a whole box of flyers here today to reject the new norm. So yeah, when yeah. you go into the stores and you're saying you cannot, you're not allowed to enter the store with a mask, without a mask, you, you show me the flyer that we have. It says yeah, yeah. specifically that um, I have a medical condition, I'm not going to be wearing the mask, and you're not allowed to ask me this question. Yes or yes? Yeah. I'm fired up today. <laughs> Enough is enough. Yeah. Enough. Enough, is enough. 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 enough! enough is enough! Enough is enough! Enough is enough! Enough is enough! Alright. So Hugs of a Mask is the initiative. The Fearless Ontario, we were here on Tuesday and Wednesday when the parliament was in session. And I think every single person that showed up here on Tuesday and Wednesday, on Tuesday we had about 100 people, people came and go, that's fine. On Wednesday we had probably about 70, 80 people. The idea was to be right at the front of the legislation as we were sitting down. Now, if you don't know what happened, on Tuesday and Wednesday. First of all, 